rock your home self-tape setup. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Cornwell with Get Taped here in Atlanta, Georgia. One of Atlanta's original audition taping services, which I go on with my amazingly talented, beautiful wife and best friend, Brooke. Ding. Sometimes I like to say the ding. And now on to our topic. How to rock your home self-tape setup. Okay, so in a previous video, I talked about the broad concept of noise in your career. The topic was about all the things that creep into your day-to-day -day that distract you from the task at hand. So today I want to drill down specifically to the topic of self-tapes and how noise can creep into that part of our career. And I want to take a moment to tease a special time-sensitive opportunity that will be happening after Thanksgiving of 2023 that I'll talk about at the end of the video. Sorry. So what noise creeps up in your auditions? And if you're taping at home, let's just say there are a ton of sources. And again, I'm not just talking about audio noise. Sure, your infant might be a source of noise. Your neighbor who is hanging pictures on the wall during your planned time of taping is a source of noise. The smoke detector that needs the batteries changed, which side note, you should do not just because of your audition, but you know, your safety or a loud air conditioner that is rattling or any other host of actual audio sources. Yes, they are noise. And the ones that you can control, please take care of them like those batteries in the smoke detector, do it. But what I'm zeroing in on for this video is the mental noise that creeps in. Some of that noise is around scheduling a time to tape the audition at home. And some of the other noise is finding a reader. If you're using an online service like We Audition to find a virtual reader, there might be some additional flexibility built in because different readers are available at different times. Shout out to Fred Gallion, who is a great virtual reader who is on We Audition and also a friend of ours. But if you do have specific restrictions around the times or locations that you can self-tape at home, it can be a very stressful situation just to get one one-line commercial audition taped. Or if you can't secure Fred as your virtual reader and you decide to go with a live, in-person, physically in your room reader, that can add a whole other level of stress to the equation. Because if it's a non-actor like your neighbor, your spouse, or your roommate, well, then you have the added noise of them reading like a robot who has never read words out loud before, or you're getting unsolicited advice from them, awkward. And if it is an actor that you invite over to tape you, well then you might feel guilty that you're using their time and then you're thinking, oh, I gotta scratch their back at some point and tape for them. But what happens if they're an actor in your category and they're auditioning for the same thing you are? That can get awkward. Or worse, they didn't get the audition that they're taping you for and you're smelling the jealousy in the air and you can sense them thinking, huh, why didn't my agent get me this audition? So I think we can agree there's a lot of stress, anxiety, and frustration, right? And we're only talking about the reader for crying out loud and when to tape your audition. So let me pause right now and just encourage you to do the best you can to plan for these sources of noise that are gonna creep up when doing a self-taped audition at home. Plan how you will fit the audition into your schedule before you ever get an audition in your inbox. If you know your schedule to a relative degree of accuracy, determine where you would fit an audition into that schedule if it were to pop into your inbox right now, do tomorrow. Also have a plan for where you're going to get that reader from. If you have a trusted source that is always available, great. If you're going to have to track one down, then maybe line that up ahead of time. Create a system, a buddy system with a group of actors so that you can scratch each other's backs. And that way you're not caught in a bind when you do get that last second audition and suddenly have no one to call on. And even if you are prepared, prepare for the unexpected. Things will happen. That reader that you have secured that's always there for you will suddenly have COVID or be sick or unavailable. And there will be other hiccups and other obstacles that will be thrown at you in the moment. And so if you have backup plans, plan B for this reader, plan B for this location of taping in my house, maybe you have to come to a service like Get Taped. Make sure you have that backup so that when that noise inevitably creeps in, in the form of a scheduling hiccup or a reader hiccup, you have a plan B, you have a way of pivoting that will then lesson, it will minimize the amount of stress 
and anxiety and frustration that it causes you when that obstacle inevitably happens, because it will. What I'm essentially saying is that a lot of this noise, the sources are within your control. Don't fall into the trap of feeling victimized for something that is essentially a lack of discipline on your part. If that is harsh, then let me have it in the comments below. I know you probably have a good defense for why you do feel like you're the victim of this industry. And I'd be happy to entertain those specific stories in those comments below, because if it's something that maybe I'm not thinking of, I'll be the first one to admit that I'm wrong. But for most of us, if we're truly, truly honest with ourselves, so much of our frustration is due to a lack of preparation and not some unseen force that is against us trying to sabotage us and our careers. So after you figured out the when and the with whom you're going to be auditioning, the next main source of noise that creeps into this equation is the actual setting up of your equipment in your space. And whether you're new and still trying to figure out this whole self-tape setup at home, or you've been doing it forever and you're just curious about how to continuously improve that self-tape setup, it can cause stress because it's something that we wish didn't have to be in our purview. We wish we could just go in person. And so no matter where you are in your journey, the self-tape setup at home can still cause a lot of grief. Now, if you have a dedicated room with a permanent setup, well, <laughs> then you've eliminated a lot of this noise because all you have to do is walk in, flip on a few light switches, turn on your camera, and you're good to go. In fact, at Get Taped, we have everything plugged into smart outlets so we can just walk in, give a voice command, and everything magically turns on. It's glorious. But most folks, from the anecdotal evidence that I've heard, do not have dedicated rooms. They don't have enough square footage in their place, or they have roommates, and so to set up for an audition requires moving furniture and hanging the backdrop and setting up the equipment and then at the end of the audition tearing it all down and putting everything back into place heck for these videos i do here in my man cave i have to set up the tripod and the phone and the lights and this tiny little microphone that sometimes doesn't sound that great my apologies and honestly some days i just don't want to do it i don't want to set it up and turn on my fun neon light in the background because it's noise it's an obstacle it's a barrier between my script and the finished product and while i can't cure your lack of motivation to do all the setup one thing i can offer is a tool for mitigating the noise surrounding the actual setting up of the equipment of which equipment do you need based on your budget and based on your physical limitations in your space now, if you're currently feeling resentful for having to be a cinematographer, a director, a lighting designer, the sound department, just for your own auditions, understand you're not alone, but also you're not alone. This is not a unique situation in this industry anymore. It's the reality of being an actor now. <laughs> Heck, for actors in the Southeast US, it's been the reality since 2012. For those that had to pivot only in recent years, I do empathize with your plight. So, actors, you have a choice to make. Sit around and complain about it and find other actors to sit around and complain about it with or adapt. Personally, I vote for adapting. It's what actors are good at anyway. And if you don't believe me, I suggest reading the book Anti-Fragile. I'll put a link in the show notes below. And if you still have a righteous anger over this topic, then really the only solution is to get involved, to Join a committee within SAG-AFTRA because the only way to affect systematic change is from within. And if you're not a member, consider joining, which is a topic for another video. So if you can move from a passive state of resentment and anger into an active state of curiosity, I wanna point you to a resource we developed that addresses this nuanced topic of removing the noise from the physical setup of your taping space. So whether your budget for equipment is zero or unlimited, in which case hit me up because I have a few projects I would love for you to invest in. Check out the show notes below for a link to our online course, Get Set Up. And while we offer a ton of free content on this YouTube channel, literally three and a half years worth of videos, this course does charge a nominal fee. For the value we offer though, it's very affordable. The course is broken up into good, 
better and best scenarios, depending on your budget level and the restrictions of your space. And we even offer suggestions on different products that you might decide to purchase to make your space perfect for you. Side note, we are an Amazon affiliate, which means if you click those links that lead you to Amazon and you end up purchasing the product, we get a teeny tiny commission. Just know though that you are not charged anything different than if you had found that link on your own or through some other route. But if you decide that this is a resource that you need, especially as we are approaching the end of the 2023 SAG after strike, and you purchase it on or before Cyber Monday 2023, then you will be offered a free Zoom call with yours truly on November 29th, where you'll have the opportunity to have your home self-tape setup reviewed by me live on the call. I will go into depth with the topics that are in the course, plus any questions that come up from you, and I will answer them to the best of my ability and the time that we have and drill down into some more of the specifics that might be plaguing you or anyone else who ends up on that call. So if you have any questions about the Get Set Up class or how to download it, hint, it's a link in the show notes below, or on the Zoom call that we're offering as a bonus for this Cyber Monday special, please leave a comment below or email us, which is also in the show notes below. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on set.